on everybody, this is Jacob Vile. Today I'm gonna to find out what my amp is putting out power-wise. We'll see. So I got 418s on a Crescendo 6K. If anybody's new watching, welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out the links in the description to show support to the channel as well as you got to see the videos in order to see how I got to where I am today. So a single 6K buck here. I was just demoing hard for another video that y'all are going to be seeing on the channel. So check those videos out as well to see how my voltage does with the lithium upgrade. But today I'm going to see what it's clamping. So while that cools off for a minute or two, because I was just demoing hard for a 10 minute video for y'all. I uh, just want to say that uh, this results are going to be for fun, entertainment, as well as it isn't going to be 100% accurate. But hopefully this will give you a ballpark figure to see how much I'm clamping on these 18s. And then I'll be doing a test at the high frequency peak. What that means is, is I'm going to see what this amp is doing at my peak. So I peak at 49 hertz with me out of the seat with the seat just like it is here. So we will see what happens. So 49 hertz. So in order for me to do this, I need to make sure I'm playing it on music too. And let me set this to volume 50 or 49. Yep. So I clip it 50. I normally clip it 49 or 50, depending on how my voltage is with the, uh, this song that I'm going to be playing. So I got a 49 Hertz bass track song. I'm not going to be doing a burp. It's going to be actual music run so my clipping voltage normally when you clip you get a little bit more power out of it but i'm going to be actually seeing real world testing results on this on music the song i actually demo so the song you see in the video is where i'm demoing or playing that'll be the song i'm actually doing so i can see real world tests so if anybody doesn't know 350 amp alternator right now it's only seeing about 100 amps of that lithium right now at idle so the voltage is going to drop a little bit but i'll show you how the voltage drops too I have a meter back there, so about 100 amps to the system. It's a 350 amp alternator, but at idle, it's only 160, 150, and it's a little hot, so probably after the vehicle compensation, I only get 100 amps of the AGM, or the uh, lithium back there, and then I just deleted my battery bank. I had an AGM here, so I'm all lithium now. So let me make sure this is shut, and, uh, and of course, I gotta get everything set up back there. All right, so everything's set up. I got my music ready and all. So I know where that is, it's on Bluetooth. So right now it's a little hot. Normally it's 14.4, 14.6, but been sitting here for a while, plus demoing hard earlier. So let me show y'all how I do this. I do this on video. I don't edit or make it nitty gritty pretty. I use exactly as I'm doing this, so. All right. Of course, the battery might be dead, I don't know find out in a minute okay so the way I clamp this is I use a Klein's tool clamp meter uh, and you'll clamp all of the positives with the clamp meter so this isn't the most accurate way to clamp but hey this is what I use and it works for me and then I'll get I'll find out what my voltage is here with the other one so I'll have the clamp meter there and then I'll have my clamp meter measure in amps, and then I'm gonna use my meter to actually measure where I am power wise. So one second, let me set this down. I'm gonna hook this up to the ground. So I could put this through all four with a meter, but it'll be all linked, so it won't matter as long as it's connected to one. There we go. So it'll read the voltage as I'm doing this. Okay, there we go. So I got this hooked in here. So the clamp's on all four. You clamp the positive and then you have the voltmeter hooked up to your negative and positive of your speaker wires. And what that does is that'll actually show you, um, you multiply the two numbers to see how much volt, uh, watt you're clamping. And then it's gonna be able to tell me how much rise is, like my impedance change too, if I divide the numbers. So we get everything set up right, okay. There we go. Okay, so those are hooked up. Let's get the song real quick. So that's 49 hertz. 
and we'll see. So that dropped, that was probably around clipping with it, it dropped to 12.8 here. So we saw 60, 65 and 68, I think it was. Y'all can kind of look back in the video, I can't at the moment. So we'll do, we'll do 68 times 65. So 68 times 65, yep. So 4,400 watts, say it was clamping there. And that was probably under clipping actually. So I'm clamping around, I don't know, I might have been clipping, but I know my, my system, so that was close. So 4,400 watts is what I was clamping there, roughly, with those two numbers. So 66 and 68, or 64, 68, it was around there. So this was the amperage here, and that was the actual uh, volts. So let me do one more run. But that's around where I'm clamping, it's 4,400 watts. So this amperator is at 6K, and... Uh, I think that's what I'm clamping there. And this is not a clipping, so this is actually not turned all the way up. Um, uh, let me go turn it up one or two more notches just so I can show y'all how much of a difference it is just by me turning it up a little bit. Yep, so that'll be clipping right there. And I'll show you all the difference in results there just by it clipping. Okay, we'll show you real quick. protected because I was clipping so y'all saw the numbers real quick yeah it protected because I was clipping and it was not having very much rise so it didn't like that so the amp was went into protect so that's the purpose of an amp to go into protect and to be safe so not recommended to do to clipping but hey real real test results you get to see what it does so I get to show y'all how it is in real world there. So that was 76 and 86 is what numbers I saw. So I saw, I think it was 86 and 76 is the numbers I saw. Y'all could see different. Of course you could do this off camera a lot easier. So 76 times 86. So there you go. That's to clipping. That's right when the amp was starting to turn off. I could hear a sound. So the 6K amp clamped 6,500 watts at clipping and a voltage dropped to like 12, 7, 12, 8. So my rise is not very much either, so that's a really good thing. So that means I'm getting the most power I can out of this amp, which is good to hear. So there you go, there's your results. Right around 6,500 watts on a 6K amp from half ohm rising up to, heck, it might be only rising like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 or less. But um, I have other videos showing you a cardio tools playlist to show you explaining more in depth on this. Go watch those on my channel, Jacob Vile, if you wanna know more on how this works. Not the best way, like I mentioned earlier, for testing. But there y'all go. So on music, when I'm demoing, I'm only giving it about 4,500 watts, but to a burp clipping to where it amp shut off because it was clipping a, a over excessive, not recommended, amp does its job in protecting 6,500 watts. So on music, demo clean signal, 4,500 watts roughly, and clipping went to 6,500 watts. So there y'all go, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. I'm pretty impressed that I'm getting the power I need out of this amp. Definitely happy with the results. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out links in the description. Show support for the channel as well as watch the build playlist. And stay tuned for more. So this is Jacob Vile out. Happy to see 6,500 watts out of this amp. Holy smokes. And that's a clipping. I knew it did rated. But that shows my rise is low and I'm getting. So that means that those subs are seeing. Just to end this real quick. So if I divide by 4. 6,500 divided by 4. Those subs are seeing around 1,600 watts on a burp to clipping, um, which of course I never clip. Uh, Y'all will never see me clip unless I'm burping. So that was pretty much like a burp on music there, um, a musical tone. 
near my peak. Man, 1600 watts a sub, probably around 1200 watts on music when I'm demoing. So pretty impressive to see a 4500 watts clamp power under 5k watts doing a 62 and some change uh, from the meter results video you saw previously. If you haven't seen that, go watch that as well. You'll see the meter results on how this sucker was doing before that. So I'll see you on the next one. What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos. Every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow.